Welcome to Bible Reader Companion. We are wrapping up our look this week at the book of 2 Peter, and today we're going to look at chapter 3. And again, as we did yesterday, we're going to include a fairly lengthy reading because we want to make sure that we get the entirety of the context here. He begins in chapter 3 and verse 1, and again reading from the New King James Version, 2 Peter 3, beginning in verse 1. Beloved, I now write to you this second epistle, in both of which I stir up your pure minds by way of reminder, that you may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets, and of the commandment of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior, knowing this first, that scoffers will come in the last days, walking according to their own lusts, and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. For this they willfully forget, that by the word of God the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of water and in the water, by which the world that then existed perished, being flooded with water. But the heavens and the earth, which are now preserved by the same word, are reserved for fire until the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. But beloved, do not forget this one thing, that with the Lord one day is as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some count slackness, but is long-suffering toward us, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens will pass away with a great noise, and the elements will melt with fervent heat. Both the earth and the works that are in it will be burned up, Therefore, since all these things will be resolved, what manner of persons ought you to be in holy conduct and godliness, looking for and hastening the coming of the day of God, because of which the heavens will be dissolved, being on fire, and the elements will melt with fervent heat? Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth in which righteousness dwells. Does this sound familiar? <laughs> Nothing's changing. I don't see the hand of God in our society today. I don't see God's judgment. I don't see God working amongst men today. Ever heard anything like that? Show me. Prove to me that God exists. Prove to me that God's still doing things in our society. Prove to me that God's still doing things in our, our world. I believe I can look at things that I think are evidence of God's hand. I don't have the prophets today to prove them. I don't have, we don't have the men today to reveal this is what God is doing. We don't have men like Habakkuk to say, you know what? God's coming, but he's bringing a more wicked nation to judge this one. But here's what I do know. I do know that Peter uses the example of the flood and he says those people weren't ready and they had the same mentality. They lived life. They had no idea the judgment was coming. And he says, when the final day of judgment comes, when our time of judgment comes, it'll be the same. It won't know it's coming. It won't be an announcement. Hey, you got six months to get ready. You know, sometimes when people try to announce the end of the world, they think, hey, we're, we're in pretty good shape. We know it's not coming on that day. It might come a day before. It might come tomorrow. But it's not going to come at a time when people are expecting. It's not going to come at a time when people are prepared and thinking this is when the Lord is coming. And so what's the meaning of all that? Well, he tells us very clearly in verse 11, since this is coming, what manner of persons ought we to be? What should we be every day? How, kind, how should we conduct ourselves every minute, every day? Should we conduct ourselves with the attitude of those before the flood? This is, hey, no evidence the Lord's doing anything. No, you're ridiculous. You're building, a, you're building this big boat. What's going on, man? What is your problem? There are people today who warn God is bringing judgment. And there are many who scorn and say, it's not happening. God isn't doing anything. The question is, will we be prepared? Will, be re will, be, will we be ready? Are we living every day like we're ready for that day to come? Peter said he looked forward to it. He was ready. He's looking forward to that new heavens and that new earth. Are you? Thank you for thinking on these things. And we hope you'll join us again next week. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook for more content like this.